Hi, I'm Jason from Ishimoto. Today we're going to go over part five of our video review series for the 2016 Camaro SS. Today we're going to review the transmission cooling system and the rear differential cooling system on the vehicle and as well as show it how it routes underneath the vehicle. Both the automatic and manual transmissions feature a very complex transmission cooling system and part of that is this quite large heat exchanger that sits up front and it's mounted horizontally like this to kind of save up some space for the AC condenser and the auxiliary radiators and other things in the system as well. So there's a lot of shielding and ducting both on top and underneath this that we've pulled off that kind of help direct air from underneath the vehicle up through and then in as all the other air is coming through the front of the vehicle for the other heat exchangers. So both radiators for the Camaro SS, whether it's an automatic transmission or a manual transmission, feature an in-tank cooler with these fittings in the top and the bottom that we'll see a little bit later when we're underneath the car. This is actually the hot line coming out of the transmission that first goes into the in-tank cooler and it attaches in like this and then you then remove it obviously if you want to take the radiator out or do any kind of servicing to the transmission cooling system. So as we discussed the in-tank transmission cooler, it goes into the top port up on top of the radiator, and then it'll come out of this port. You know, it gets cooled down a little bit, not too, too much, because it's only exchanging fluid heat with uh, the, the coolant of the radiator. And it's gonna come out of this tube that goes you know, up there like that, and it's gonna go into the big heat exchanger up, up in front of the car. These are the two transmission fluid lines, and this bottom one is the one that comes out of that very large heat exchanger up front of the car. This top one is the hot one that comes out of the transmission up here. And this line here goes up to the uh, in-tank cooler in the radiator that we discussed previously. So this is the hot line and now this is the cold line coming out of the front transmission cooler. And it comes all the way here over the subframe, over the cat converter, and then this goes this goes all the way back to the rear differential. Now this line is coming back from the front of the vehicle. The fluid in this line already went through the big front mounted transmission cooler. So it comes back here, goes around the exhaust system and goes into the rear differential cooler. There's a built in liquid to liquid cooler in this differential that uses uh, cooled down transmission fluid to exchange heat with the rear differential gear oil. They never mix, it's just a, a, an in-tank liquid to liquid cooler like you would see with uh, um, kind of like a oil cooler on the uh, side of the engine block. I believe uh, some of the previous generation Camaro, the ZL1 and the uh, Z28 had a similar system and they integrated that into the new SS in both automatic and manual models. And then out of that cooler, it comes back and this line is going back to the transmission. Then from the rear differential, the uh, fluid line goes on the other side of the vehicle, underneath the vehicle, comes over the cross member and then back into the transmission on this fitting. So this is coming from the rear differential back into the transmission. Hope you guys found that interesting. It's a pretty complex and really cool looking uh, cooling system. Our next video will review the front suspension system of the 2016 Camaro SS.